kids yelling things like, I'm a homophobe or I don't want your candy. Just vile. The Linmar School District says an incident during a homecoming parade is now part of an ongoing investigation. According to the district, a few people ridiculed and threw items at one of the parade entries, the Linmar Spectrum. Yeah, Spectrum is the gay straight alliance at the Linmar High School. And what happened during the parade yesterday has galvanized a wave of support for students in that LGBTQ plus group. KCRG TV 9's Jackson Valenti has been following the response to what happened. He is joining us now live in the studio. Jackson. Yeah, Jim, I talked to a Linmar parent who said the students who are part of Spectrum are used to being ridiculed. But yesterday, she says they were put in danger because of items like this, an open box cutter that was thrown at the group. I cannot fathom being a child going to homecoming and not feeling safe. Jennifer Pitkin is the mother of Ava, a student who marched with Spectrum, a student-run LGBTQ plus group at Linmar High School. While Ava and the other students were marching at Linmar's homecoming parade, Pitkin says a group of 10 or more kids started shouting slurs at them. And she says somebody threw this box cutter at the students. It didn't hit anybody, but it solidified Pitkin's fears of hostility against students at pride events. I want you to stay at home. I want you to stay home. I want you to never go to a pride parade again. My kid and these kids are not. They would not be held down. I promise you that they would not be held down because after the knife was thrown, the students didn't leave. They kept marching. They chose to make a statement and saying, we're here, uh, we are to be valued, and, and we're in our community, and we're not going anywhere. Pitkin said even though she was worried for her daughter's safety, she's proud of the group's decision to keep going. She said many LGBTQ students face harassment and ridicule all the time. And she hopes this situation can be remembered as standing up against adversity. But there's a lot of other kids that are affected that don't speak up, and this is their norm. After the incident, Linmar Schools released this statement, saying in part, this behavior is unacceptable and does not reflect the values of our district. The school district said it is working with Marion Police in the investigation into that incident. In the studio, Jackson Valenti, KCRG-TV 9 News.